Okay, I re um, erased completely around um, this character, um, which is colorized, and I have these uh, saturation layers, whatever, and now I want to save it with transparency, so I bring it into Photoshop with transparency. So, File. I'm going to do this time, instead of Save As, Save for Web and Devices. Okay, it brings up this dialog box, which is uh, entirely too big for you to see. So I'll try to make it smaller. And I'm just going to click on Optimized. All right, and so you have these tabs here, Original, Optimized, 2-Up, 4-Up. So you can try out different flavors of optimization. And you can also zoom in and out. So I'll just, just choose one Optimized, and I'm going to pick um, Ping 24, Transparency Interlaced, and hit Save and save it to the desktop and um, I'm going to call it everything that's on the um, stage is called sprite so I'll call it sprite 1 okay which is actually just a photograph of my son and that's it so there he goes he's saved so now I go back to um, flash file import import let's say to library and I'm on my desktop and I'm looking for sprite one okay sprite one dot png there it is and bring it in and now in my library you'll see that I have sprite one right here okay now um, what I can do now is make a new layer. Notice also here how I dragged this over one frame so that everything starts here. right? And the other thing that um, he does in his movie is he puts this all into a folder. Let's do that now. Let's create a folder, which is the button right here. I'm going to move this down a little bit uh, and call this folder background. All right. And then I'm going to drag layer two in the background and then the gradient layer in the background. Now when I did that, I could close the folder, open the folder, the background jumped on top of layer two. So I need to switch those two so that um, the layer two, which is the arch, call it arch BG. So now that the arch, and I have it in a folder, arch is on top of the gradient background. All right, and this is all in the window here. Say fit in the window. And so now I make a, I'm going to need a new layer on top of this for my snow border to come flying into view. And also this this guy I want to move this down a little bit. There we go. There we go. And now I'm going to make um, the character um, who's my son pop into view. So I make a new layer. Um, let's see. Click the background layer. Click a new layer. Oops. And these new layers are popping into the background layer. That is no good. That is not what I want. So, Control Z, Control Z. I want these layers out of there. How do we do that? Pull this out. There we go. And layer four. I'm just going to delete that layer. All right. All right. And layer three. We'll call it Sprite. Since um, yours will be different than mine. I can close the background layer. Now I have a layer on top of the background layer. It's empty. And what I want to do is I want to bring the sprite in around, let's say, layer 10. Okay, that's what he does. I'm going to drag this down so you can see all the layers. All right, so this comes in. And then right here around 10 or even around 15, I want to bring the character. So now I open up the library and drag him out on the stage. There he is. All right. It's got a little bit of um, got a little bit of uh, haloing, anti-aliasing, little white spots uh, around the edge, but not too bad. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do is convert it to a symbol. So I click on him, modify, convert to symbol, um, MC. Sprite, which is any character that's in an animation on the stage, is a sprite, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him off stage, and he's going to pop up on stage. All right, so 
Control minus. Right, there he is. Notice how big he is. Which is kind of cool because in the original image he's kind of small, but in this image he could be a lot bigger. So what I'm going to do is uh, when he first comes in, I'll have him down here, right? And then over uh, here, let's say on keyframe 20, I'll put it F6 and then drag him up into the frame so that he animates into the frame. All right. So over here, he's here. I can slide him over a little bit. And over on this keyframe, he's up there, right? kind of in view. And I can even slide him up a little bit. All right. Now on both pieces, I could decide to make him smaller. But if I make him smaller now, I have to do it on this keyframe and on this keyframe. For instance, I'll go to this keyframe, select him, Window, Transform, Constrain Proportions, and make him 70% size. Okay, so now he's a lot smaller, right? If I go here on this keyframe, I've also got to select him, Window, Transform, and also convert him to 70% size, and hit Enter. All right, so now he's 70% size move him into position using the arrows on my keyboard. And over here, I want him to come in to about here. And now I can just go to the first keyframe, property windows, motion tween. And now in my window, I'll zoom in you can see the action. Now it will tween into view as the scene opens up and he'll pop into view, all right, and um, animate into view. And what I can also do is, since he's a movie clip, I can select him on the first keyframe, property window, filters, and hit and make a glow, like an outer glow of, of white, even. All right, show you what that looks like. And then on the second keyframe, select him and glow of white. Let's see if that's working. Strength 100. Strength. Strength 190%. That's quite a glow. Strength 100, and what I might want to do is also change the color. So I select him, go on filters, glow, change the color to like a um, orangish color. All right, or a light yellow color. Something that has a slight color to it. Um, right. Up the strength just slightly. Go back to the first keyframe, select him, and make sure that it's a similar type of situation that I've chosen a similar color and a similar strength. And so that so now he pops right into view. And you'll see here collapse this, let's see, collapse this, so now when you play the animation, this will pop in first, this will go in, and then he'll pop into view. So that's just like the snowboarder animation happening in the Rich Shoot video. In this, in this case, my gradient tweens in, I have a background um, picture that is a, uh, was a bitmap, it's now a vectorized image and then my character pops in the scene. All right, if you like your work so far, you better save it.